Hi, I'm Neil Breslov, Professor of Biomedical Engineering Design in the Faculty of Engineering and the Environment here at the University of Southampton. I lead Grand Challenge 2 in Life Technologies within the Institute for Life Sciences. My own particular interest in research is driven by computational engineering. You can see behind me some of the work we're doing on aortic heart valve design. And interestingly, as a result of the whole environment within the Institute, that has led to collaborations with um, others in the med school and in the university hospital, in respiratory disease and also for Alzheimer's disease. The respiratory case is interesting because we're designing a spirometer to be taken out to Africa, a device which is affordable but functional to be able to diagnose disease in those poor family members who spend much of the time cooking over the family uh, uh, fire for the family meal. Within the grand challenge we have six themes. The first of those is in microfluidics, sensors, point of care devices. Then within imaging we have significant um, hardware and technology within our MUVIS centre and also at the biomedical imaging unit up at the hospital. I position myself probably primarily in the third theme in biomechanics and biomaterials. We also have a theme in regenerative medicine and stem cell research. The fifth theme in assistive technologies and rehabilitation. Um, often linked to stroke and the treatment of stroke and then finally and last but not least in molecular engineering the way the new therapeutics can be developed. We've developed impact on many fronts as a result of these collaborations. Collaborations which I have to emphasize just wouldn't have happened with the impetus and support of the Institute. Um, there are strong impact stories to tell in uh, orthopedic implants, both hip and knee implants, in audiology implants, within sensing technology, in microfluidic devices, in the way that stroke patients are cared for. Looking forward, we can see that remote monitoring is going to be a key technology, whether it's related to rheumatoid arthritis or to cardiac uh, complaints. Um, in terms of 3D printing technology, so the idea of, of printing a, uh, an implant, then combining that with stem cell research to then encourage healing within the patient. So all these technologies looking forwards, um, the technologies which just wouldn't happen with the kind of interdisciplinary collaboration which is supported by the Institute. Looking more widely at the university and the university strategies in terms of enterprise research and education, uh, new uh, uh, taught programs are being developed driven by uh, the interdisciplinary nature of the Institute. We're, we're hoping to deliver a new one in biomedical engineering, for example, and we have colleagues from other faculties who are going to be delivering modules on that. Looking forward, I can just see the, the whole activity growing, going from strength to strength. Ultimately, we're looking to translate a lot of our research. So on the one hand, we, we're obviously going to have a lot of fundamental research ongoing through these collaborations. But ultimately, for me as an engineer, it's, it's patient benefit which really counts. So the biodegradable stent that I'm developing at the moment is undergoing clinical trials as we speak. Ultimately, I want that to make a difference for real patients. So taking our collaborations across engineering, physical sciences, health sciences, medicine, and what the clinicians really face um, within the hospital, that is key. Ultimately, ultimately, through that interdisciplinary collaboration, delivering real difference and improvements for patients. Thank you very much.